first thing the user is greeted with is a welcome back menu. Um, a loading screen as the app initializes before being greeted by the very main menu. Um, the main menu has a couple of things, um, mainly a couple of different uh, settings and different things at the top for fans or categories. Cheap meals, hottest this week, um, cold meals, fancy meals, as well as a main promo banner in the beginning and the middle, I mean, you're able to swipe through and see the different things. This one is just on the protein macaroons. Um, and the user has two options as well on the bottom. The main ones are browse recipes and great recipes. If the user is to press the browse recipes, it'll be greeted by a browse recipes menu. And um, immediately the, bra the user can set by a filter. If the filter wants to sort by different settings, they can. For example, this could be a cook time, and they could search it by from high to low. And upon putting in these filters, they'll be get presented a giant list where they can scroll through for different recipes. Um, if they can select the kale salad, and then they'll be greeted with um, the kale salad recipe page, which includes the title of the recipe, a picture, a description, the ingredients, and then the instructions, where the user can then choose to edit this recipe, rate the recipe, or report it. Um, if they edit it, they can also uh, change the features and upload it and save it for themselves. Or if they go back to the main menu and they decide to, they decide to create a recipe instead, they'll be prompted by an add recipe um, where they can, where the user is prompted a couple text boxes and input fields, one for the title description, a um, couple add ingredients and instructions. Now we can put in the ingredient the user taps in the thing and they can type in what their thing is. Um, it could be a Parmesan chicken sandwich, and then it's also type in the description. This delicious and heated meal is a sure hit with your fellow Parm lovers. If you were to click on the add button, you can also add an ingredient. The user will be prompted with a text box that will allow them to input um, the ingredients so they can put in by themselves. Um, and they can add in one half cup of crushed tomatoes, and then they'll be added to the list, and then they can add in additional ingredients, as well as input and type in their description, or it's not description, their instructions and steps on how to prepare and cook the meal. Once they have typed all that up, they are then, they are able to click the continue to move on to the next page, and the next page tells them, looks good, would you like to add a picture where they can input no or yes, and if they tap yes, they're added by a box, which they can select a photo from their camera roll, or take a picture, upload anything, and it'll be put it right there. They can also add additional information, optional price, so they can the user will be able to enter how much it costs about, and they say it's about three seventy nine per serving, and then they can also include the cooking time, which is about thirty minutes, and then they can do let's a review, which basically gives them an overview of what they inputted in the previous slide. If they don't like it, they can go back and edit it. Otherwise, they can click finish to submit it into the uh, into the application for others to browse and view and edit and rate. And once they leave, they can, uh, they're prompted with a see you soon along with the symbol of the application. And then uh, they can come back in and then do this as much as they want.